All right, guys, back again uh, with the Dragon disc drive. So in this video, I'm gonna take out the old transformer here, and I'm gonna put in this new power supply, which I have hacked out of its case here. So I need to, yeah. Uh, First of all, take this out. Um, I want to try and keep the original uh, cable input and switch on the back of the drag and drive here. So I want to incorporate the switch so that when this is back together, it's going to look like it's stuck. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the the transformer and these two wires, the red and blue, come from the switch. So I'm going to wire them into the input on the new power supply. I'm going to have to desolder this big socket. So in theory that should work um, and keep the functionality of the switch. And I will also have the added safety of the built-in fuse at the back here. So we'll start by pulling this transformer out here. That's the transformer out and it weighs an absolute ton. This thing's going to be about half the weight with that out of it. Okay so I have plenty of room to work with here. Um, there is that uh, metal shield that was in the top. Um, I don't think I need to put that back in. That's it there. Um, so it's sat like that. And the, the, main, the main circuit board for the power supply was mounted to that. So I really don't need that back in again either. Um, what I do need to do is Make sure that this power supply, the new power supply that I'm putting in, is extremely well insulated. Um, I need to find something to put in, um, at, you know, up below that, so this can sit on top of it. Um, but first, I need to desolder this uh, socket off the end of it. All right then. The soldering iron is all hot. Um, I have my solder sucker. I have a little bit of fresh solder to make things a bit easier. So what I'll do is I'll add a bit of solder to these points first on this. I'm running out of room, places to set things here. Excuse my phone buzzing away in the background there. Okay, looks pretty good. <clears throat> See if that comes out. Off of fucking soldering irons every time. <clears throat> okay, see what 
that does. May need to apply a bit of heat here as well at the same time. <coughs> Okay, got it. So what I've done so far is uh, desoldered the socket. Um, I shortened the wire with the Molex connector because it was far too long. So I've uh, shortened that by about half its length and soldered it back in. And I've actually added an extra ground wire here, which is going to go to the ground on the case um, the where the socket went in the uh, socket for the kettle lead the center pin is your earth and it doesn't actually connect to anything it's the center pin there as you can see it's just soldered in but it's not connected to any parts of the board so I'm putting this uh, earth in from the output side, the DC side, just as an extra precaution. So to insulate this board from the bottom of the drive case itself, I'm actually just going to use half of the case that it was originally in. So I'm just going to set it in and half glue the whole thing down. Um, I will need to cut a couple of notches in here at this end. So we'll do that now and then uh, we can set this in, um, test fit it and then I obviously need to solder my wires in from the power supply uh, in the drive, the floppy drive itself, I need to solder them in here and then that should be it pretty ready to go. I just took a notch out of the plastic there and it's sitting down flush. Where it should be. It was really just my extra earth wire that I put on there as was stopping it from going down. So once I get that in, just a couple of blobs of hot glue in the corners there will hold that in. And then I just need to hot glue that basically to the base of the drive unit. I'm just going to roughly test fit everything here. This is going to sit round about there like that at an angle um, there's a couple of screws here sticking out of the case which the old transformer and stuff was post er, uh, bolted to but they're actually like riveted in so I can't take them out so I'll just uh, raise it up a bit with uh, plenty of hot glue so it's not actually sitting on them. Um, I need to make sure I leave room for my ribbon cable here to attach but really I have plenty of room. So I'll have that Molex connector connected in briefly. Okay and I have this earth wire which needs to go on here with this earth wire. I do have uh, some uh, ring crimps here, so I'll be using one of them to put that on. Okay, I have the wire soldered on the board here, and I have double checked and triple checked that they're wired the right way, and I'm just going to check once more. So that went in like that, and that's the live pin, and that's the neutral pin. Which is going to live, live, live. Okay, and I'll just double check that against the kettle lead. Yep, okay, I'm happy enough. <clears throat> so I need to hot glue this in to the case here, and then. I'm gonna. Um, I think actually before I hot glue anything in, I'm gonna test this and see if it blows up. Okay, uh, I have the kettle lead plugged in here. Um, I've actually disconnected the Molex connector for this initial turn on here. 
and um, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I don't get blown up or there's no magic smoke. Just double check, nothing touching anything. Okay, don't know if you can see that there, but the, the LED come on in the power supply. Uh, just here, the LED. So that uh, looking good. So I'm actually going to test the voltages uh, from the Molex connector before I actually plug it into the drive here. Um, okay, so that's ground. That should be 12 volts on that side and 5 volts on that side, dead on. Okay, well it's time to go the full hog and plug it in, plug it into the dragon and test it. Um, if everything works then it's just a matter of hot gluing all this stuff together here. Okay, I think I'm ready. Of the floppy drive plugged in and plugged into the dragon. Have the TV on the correct channel. So turn the TV on there. Okay, turn the switch on on the disk drive. Okay, the light come on. That's a good sign. So if we do a directory here, and if everything went according to plan, this should work. So just uh, double check that. So it's a load command for a disk. Load. Okay. It's only a couple of lines of basic, so it takes a little bit half a second to load it. Okay, so that's working. Um, what I just need to do now is glue all this into place and finalize it. Um, so yeah, I will. Uh, Leave the video here, I think. I think it's went on quite long enough, but that is it uh, with its new power supply installed. And once the once this is all together and the case is on top, you would uh, not be any the wiser by looking at it because it's still standard around the back with the kettle lead going in and the switch functioning. So, hope you enjoyed watching, guys. That was certainly interesting for me. Uh, catch you in the next one. Bye for now.